morning, everybody. Look what you're looking at today. Somebody has been asking me again about my pedals and what I use them for. First of all, this is a volume pedal. Usually I just go in and kick it on and leave it on. And when I'm taking and unplugging my lap steel going to the guitar, I just, if you notice, it's off. Now, if I'm playing out, this is a volume pedal here by Mallory, I believe the name of it, but it requires 9 volt battery or 9 volt power. So I just leave it on the pedal board because all my pedals require 9 volt. Alright, this is a ditto looping pedal. You can make a loop with it. two steps and it's gone. Alright, the next one right there is a canyon pedal and I got it on a shimmer effect. It sounds like this. <laughs> Ditto looper stop, but I didn't, but I do now. Alright, this canyon is made by Electro Harmonics. It's got uh, a lot of good delays in it and stuff like that. The, the Super Overdrive is by Boss. Now, this is called a Tone Driver, and the Overdrive, let me let you hear it without the uh, Ditto looper. First of all, this is clean. some more music and I'm going to kick off with uh, some southern style rock songs. Alright, next one in line is a Boss and it's called a Tone Driver Overdrive and it's, I've got it set where it, let me, first. That's clean, now with it on. set up for the hard stuff, listen for the not so hard stuff. Alright, the next one in line, that's a fun pedal, and I hadn't even went completely through it, but I've got it set on a, a setting that I like, it sounds like a choir.
called a SY1 synthesizer. And uh, it's also made by Boss. And it's, uh, I got it on a sale at Sweetwater, but the thing's done gone back up. They a little bit around two hundred dollars now. But anyway, like I say, I'm using my pedals. <laughs> The tone driver and the synth's gonna sound like together. I can't imagine that's gonna sound good. place not with each other. pedal set on the shimmer. A lot of great trails to it. Synthesizer sounds good. All of them's got their place. Then this is back to clean.
whole bunch more pedals. I've got coarse pedals and uh, got some more delay pedals. Uh, I've got a couple of what called distortion and one called a heavy metal distortion. And I don't hardly ever use them. I've got one of these bosses called a Boss ME25 Wave, and it's got a hundred and something pedals built in it. Now, I do use it some. It's got some of the better sounding reverbs in it that I've ever used. But anyway, these are my main go to pedals right here. And, uh, each one of them, you can control the volume of it, and you can control the gain on them. The only one that, the ditto, the only thing it does is record. You can control your volume, and that's all. And I got it last in line because I want to record it all the way through my pedals. Like, if I'm playing this, I want to record the sound of the scent, so it goes... But now, when I'm doing all that, most time I use my recorder, and that way I can control everything with my sliders and get. Cause that's the mistake of people writing a song today and singing. You can't hear what they're singing over the music, cause the music's drowning them out. mistake myself. So y'all be careful out there with your loudness of your playing if you're singing. I, people want to hear the words to the song and the singing. Anyway, that concludes the uh, Hump Day Report for Wednesday. Our cool weather's done left us. We done got back up in the 90s. Gnats done come back out and this time we had enough rain they made some mosquitoes with it also. But anyway, I'm out there working in my garden. I ordered my Vidalia onions yesterday. They'll be in here sometime in November for me to plant. I'm done fixing my beds, getting them ready for it. Hope y'all have a great day out there, people. Hope you enjoyed the pedal show today. Y'all stay safe.